Welcome, Solomon Secrets followers in uh, fellow wisdom seekers, um, episode number eight. Excited for you to uh, to join us this morning, and and excited to chat a little bit about um, walking with wise men, right? Uh, choosing, you know, be watchful who we hang around. Uh, and I'm sure each and every one of you, if you're a parent, um, you probably mentioned to your kids, hey, listen, uh, you know, choose your friends wisely, right? And, uh, you know, if you, uh, uh, you're an adult and you're, you probably heard uh, the saying, you become like the five closest people that you hang around, right? So it is a, um, it's, it's apparent, it's evident that, uh, you know, it, uh, the people that we are around will influence us. So now we have a choice. Um, who do we choose to hang around? And uh, what, what does Solomon's Secrets uh, have to say about the company that we have? Uh, the company that we hang around, uh, who influences us, and, and uh, super interesting. So, you know, we'll go through some of the secrets and chat a little bit about them and see kind of what, uh, what we can glean from them. But it says uh, in Solomon's Secrets, it says, He who walks with wise men will be wise, but a companion of fools will be destroyed. So, so really clear, there is no, uh, you know, no question here. It just really plain. It says, hey, listen, if you, depending on who you hang around, you can either become wise or, it, I, I mean, it says you, you'll be destroyed, right? So, uh, so it also says the righteous should choose his friends carefully. For the way of the wicked leads them astray. And, and I think it is just such a, such a reminder that we, we got to be watchful. So if, if you're a parent, and, and here's the takeaway, here's the tangible takeaway that we can keep in mind as we're training, teaching uh, our children, uh, and when they're still under our roof, that we have an ability to influence and say, hey, listen, you've got to pay attention to who your friends are. Because bad, you know, bad company corrupts you. Uh, and, uh, and uh, lead you astray, lead you on a path that you don't want to go. Uh, so, uh, so really, really, uh, I mean, it is, it is very, very crucial uh, of what and how uh, we turn out, right? <laughs> uh, it, it says later on, it says, a wise man is strong. Yes, a man of knowledge increases strength, for by wise counsel, You'll wage your own war. And in a multitude of counselors, there is safety. Okay? So again, it, keeps, it, it comes back to, Solomon Seekers is super clear on, be really cautious of who you hang around. Uh, who, who do we associate with? Uh, who, do we, uh, who do we line up? Who do we strive to be around? Uh, it says, for, you know, do not associate with those given to change. For their calamity will rise suddenly, and who knows the ruin those can bring. And to me, that means, you know, if, if somebody is fleeing, right, always changing, always moving, always kind of, you know, just, just being, uh, being given to change, it says their calamity will rise suddenly. And, and who knows the ruin those can bring. Right, so so it it it, it uh, really makes us uh, makes you think, and uh, it goes on. Also, it says confidence in an unfaithful man in time of trouble is like a bad tooth or foot out of joint, and and little little story around that. I know from personal experience. I mean, not foot out of joint, but shoulders out of joint. Right, and I'll tell you what the pain associated with a shoulder coming out of joint. Is, is excruciating. It is, it is wickedly painful, right? And, and again, confidence in an unfaithful man, who we hang around, who, who we associate with, in time of trouble is like a bad tooth in our foot or shoulder out of joint. Not a good place to be. Not a good place to be. And then uh, on that, it, it goes further to says, uh, 
And I, I think this, here's the leadership uh, lesson inside of, uh, you know, who, who do we have in our inner circle? Who do we have in our, uh, on our teams, right? Because the Solomon secret, the advice, it says, be diligent to know the state of your flock and attend to your herds. And, uh, you know, again, I think it's super important to be aware, to know, because if, if you're building a team, if you're building a, um, uh, an organization and you don't know who is, is part of it, or if you, you're, you know, there are people in groups inside of your organization that, that are wanting to, to distract. And if that's the, if that's the majority, well, guess what? That's going to affect. That's going to affect the the outcome, the production, the uh, you know the the efficiency of the team because, you know, it comes back to right, what we just talked about. He who walks with wise men, will be wise. So if you have a team uh, that that are not striving, that are not on the same page, that are not desiring to go in the direction that you want that's why he says you know be uh, be aware you know be diligent to know the state of your flocks uh so so um you know i think it's a uh, sound wisdom and and that's where you know it gives me as a parent confidence to keep telling my children um you know be careful choose your friends wisely choose your friends carefully uh, we become who we hang around. That's what I desire, you know, and, and encourage. There's a, there's a concept called the dream 100 in business, right? Uh, strive to build relationships, to build connections, you know, with people of whom you desire to, uh, to grow and become. People that have gone before you. That's why mentorship can be so crucial in, in becoming, right? Because if they, you know, that will lift you up to that level. You want to strive and be around because, you know, when it holds true that you become who you hang around, if you choose never to strive and reach out and make connections and, and uh, grow into uh, to other circles, well, you know, that, that has significant consequences. And, uh, you know, it's interesting. I've, I've even said, heard people say that, um, you know, if, uh, show me, show me five of your friends' bank accounts, and I'll tell you exactly what your bank account looks like. Right, all all pertaining to this uh, this concept of uh, you know, he who walks with wise men will be wise, but the companion of fools will be destroyed. So, you know, a couple of uh, parenting. Uh, guidelines from the uh, secrets of uh, Solomon secrets today and also some business principle be diligent to know the state of your flock right be diligent to know who's on your team be diligent to know who you're attracting into your team that you desire to be part of your uh, endeavors right because you want it to be one of, of uh, uplifting instead of tearing down so uh, yeah, looking forward to, to chat more, excited about what the Solomon Secrets have to offer, and, uh, and hope you got some value today, and look forward to chatting real soon. See you guys.